So here is one that's just a normal contrail, boys and girls, okay? Look. And here we go. The spraying begins. Dang it. Holy shit. Look at that. There's your shadow. I can see it with my bare naked eye. Now look, he's just turned it off. Come on, P900, where's my zoom? Look, there's the brake, look. See it? And now look above me. See it? There's the brake where he turned it off. Now look what he left behind for us all. Ooh, yeah. One massive. Oh, and here comes another one, look. It's just as I'm talking, look. There's where he came from, look, the beach. And there he is directly above me. Sorry, Ruby. You got planes dropping chemicals all over us. He's just started that as he at the east coast of England. He's now directly above me and he's going to continue that spray all the way to Doncaster, 40 miles. Scumbags. And there he is. And there's your chemtrail. Making these bullshit clouds. And there you go, he's turned them back on. I've got another one straight above me. And none of you want to know what they're spraying on us. No one's asking the questions. You don't care what they're spraying on you. Or your kids. You can't even see them, look, because of the chems that are being laid on top of them. One on the other stacked. And this is the P900. It won't hit them because there's chems in the way of it. Okay. So, none of you believe that chemtrails exist. Well, it's Sunday evening, as always. Particularly when it's a new moon, look at the length of this thing, look, look, okay? And I'm telling you, that goes for miles after that one. And it's all the way over me, look. Turned on as he hit the coast, and it's going behind that tree, look. And I'm telling you, it's going off over there. Can we get through it? I bet we can zoom in on it just there. Right there, through the tree. Still going. But these are right over my head for a change in different patterns. I can only imagine it's because they've changed the weather and the wind's blowing from a different direction, so now they have to spray these trails in a different position to cause the effect, whatever it is that they want, upon the weather. Okay. So, 
none of you believe that chemtrails exist. Well, it's Sunday evening as always, particularly when it's a new moon. Look at the length of this thing, look, look. Okay? And I'm telling you, that goes for miles after that one. And it's all the way over me, look. Turned on as he hit the coast. And it's going behind that tree, look. And I'm telling you, it's going off over there. Can we get through it? I bet we can zoom in on it just there. Right there, through the tree. Still going. But these are right over my head for a change. In different patterns. I can only imagine it's because they've changed the weather and the wind's blowing from a different direction, so now they have to spray these trails in a different position to cause the effect, whatever it is that they want, upon the weather. Okay. So, none Crap. Yeah. Well, that was 16 months ago nearly. And it's just getting bigger and bigger. Do you know why? Because people like me woke up. The ones with the biggest mouths, the ones that shout loudest. And you can say I was preaching. <laughs> I was teaching. I didn't start preaching until I discovered God. And he's not the God we got told about, that's for sure. They've hidden everything. Scumballs. Right, so I'm back home. And I'm going to show you what it looked like here on somewhere over there. You couldn't quite see it all, but this is what I was looking at through the sunshine. And this is all natural, isn't it, boys and girls? You see it? Absolutely. All natural, nothing wrong, nothing to see here, nothing to see here. That's a real cloud. Look, let's have a look, look. That's a real cloud, isn't it, boys and girls? <coughs> wrong answer. That's what happens to them when they spread out. And they're dropping it all over us, bombarding us with it. And for what reason? Hmm? Nothing more than conspiracy, eh? So let's show you what he's just done as he came over me. See, these are not clouds, look, boys and girls. They're not dissipating. They're lingering, hanging. They don't go away. These, what you think are clouds above me, they're not clouds. These are just smaller versions of this broken lot. So he's just come in now. And I'll bet you within... 10 minutes, when the next load come, my Sunday's gonna be blanketed. The beautiful day we're about to have is gonna be ruined. So let's find out. I'll leave the camera looking over there in the direction that they're coming at. I'm Skagness Beach. And we'll see. Okay, to my friends and family who believe the aeroplanes are acting like they did when uh, we were children. <clears throat> um, they don't. And this is all footage from around my area. The three guys, kids that I met on the beach when I was filming that Wednesday. You guys can confirm you were there when, we, when I started filming this stuff. Um, from the back garden. Finally caught this. Ta da Now tell me, because Lizzie and Shane and you was in the garden, we saw it twice today, same thing. What is that? Hmm? In front of the plane, what is that? What is it? Hmm? Because that ain't a normal contrail. That's what we call a chemtrail, but it's a conspiracy. It's all tinfoil hat stuff. Not being sceptical like I am and questioning what I'm looking at, because this all started with a cloud. A cloud that looked like an egg box above me and my son. I didn't even see
see it. My little boy said, what's that, Dad? And it looked like a top of an engine block, like an egg box, six holes, and the cloud was dropping down like string and then sucking back up and in, and it was doing it alternatively, and it passed us straight overhead. I took a picture of it on the iPhone, it wasn't good enough, that's when I bought my first camera. I wish I'd have this P900, I'm telling you. Um, so I've been looking at the sky ever since, and that's how all this started for me, a cloud. The cloud started all of this, that weird egg box one. So look at these. This song is for all the people that don't believe chemtrails are real, and that your sun isn't being masked over with chemicals, and what these chemicals are doing. I mean, you research it yourself, they don't even know what the aluminium filings are gonna to do to us, so. Do your own research. Be skeptical and question. It's nothing to do with conspiracy. Conspiracy for me is something to look at. Ruby, get off the curtains. Get off, off. So, this is just for all those people that doubt that chemtrails are real, okay? This is from my garden, this is from Cleve Forbes, this is from up near Caster. If you just turn your eyes up, you'll see it for yourselves. And then you'll understand why England's cold at the minute. Because they're masking out the sun and moving weather patterns. Because the wind is coming from the north, Scotland. It's coming straight down at me. And we have all our chemical refineries on the east bank blowing out. Because Sweden and Norway complain about the acid rain from our chemicals. Because it's a northeasterly wind. But yeah, it's coming from the north. It's blowing south. Okay? Um, enjoy. Because... This is real, and you're not questioning all of it. Open your eyes, open your mind. Question, be skeptical. Don't let someone else's answer, because that's all you've ever got. Remember this, teachers, professors, everything that taught you this stuff, they were all told. They didn't take their own research into account. You know, they just researched their research, which isn't researching, is it? You take someone's research off the internet, you go and test it all yourself empirically. Line of vision. Three miles, Mr. Red Quares. I can see Spain Point, and that's six miles. I can see Lincoln Cathedral. Ruby! I can see Lincoln Cathedral from nearly 40 miles away, and I'm going to film it soon, so you're full of crap. It's all a lie. Um, everything I've been told, when I actually empirically, skeptically look at it, falls apart. It's like a game of Kaplunk. Okay? Do your own work. Do your own research. Okay? Make yourself aware, mm -hmm. because your education, your false degrees, they don't mean nothing to me, or oh, anyone who's done the same research I have. You can have 25 degrees for all I care, and it don't make you smart because you think you're spinning on a ball and you're descending from a monkey. It's a no-brainer. No it really is. Look at it skeptically, logically, and when your logic kicks in, boom, you're not spinning. So that's all it takes, that one voice, your voice, saying, I am not spinning. That's how quick it was for me. I am not spinning. Boom, oh, where am I? Boom, oh, where am I? You can't answer that, can you? If you I've, I've asked so many Globies this in chat dialogues on videos, etc. Imagine for a second you're not on the ball. You've just found out it's flat and you're surrounded by a, a beautiful handcrafted <laughs> firmament protecting everything. The only life anywhere that you know about. You're the centre of everything. Boom. Flat. Where are you? Who did it? What are you? Who are you? Hmm? Yeah. you got no answers. Nothing at all. Because you've had the one answer that is logically right brainwashed away from you. Make your own mind up. You are your own authority on everything. Whether you be spinning, you're not. You're stationary, you're not moving. Okay? Think about it. God bless. There's a Spanish plane that flies between Skegness Beach and Selby Hill. 
And when they reach the height, they open the hose, and nobody cares. She's spraying still. And then they hush their children back to sleep, and care not where those chemicals creep. For it is said that the nanoparticles they spread can fill their lungs 10,000 deep. Well, the president was lying, crisis actors by his side. The father, he was smiling on the night his daughter died. Because in his head, he's pretending that she's dead, and he has to force the tears into his eyes. And he's just a clown, and he didn't hear the sound. We're recording live! Just then, the truth itself appeared in a blinding flash of light. And it shouted at Barry, Will you send my love to Mike? Well, NASA just grinned and said we may have sinned, but there's no need to push us around. We fooled them all, they're on the ball. They're going underground! But I think I'll give you one more chance, said NASA with a smile. So throw away that stupid lens, it's really not our style. Gopro is the name, fisheye is the game, it bends the horizon like I said. And the biggest mistake that you've made yet is it's all in your head!